Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Few weeks back, Google released the quantized and unquantized version of their Gemma 3 model. We covered all of these models in great detail as you can see here on the channel. Just few hours ago what Google did, they also released Gemma 3 quantized aware training version without any quantization. Let me explain what exactly that means. Quantization is a technique in machine learning that reduces the number of bits used to represent model parameters. By moving from higher precision formats like 16-bit to much smaller formats like 4-bit integers, quantization drastically cuts model size and memory requirements. This makes it possible to run large models on consumer hardware but sometimes comes with a reduction in accuracy. This is where quantization aware training comes into play. Quantization aware training or QAT is a process where quantization is simulated during training. This lets the model adjust to lower precision operations such as in uh, as, it, as it learns helping to maintain accuracy after quantization QAT often results in higher quality compact model compared to simply quantization after training and we are going to install it today locally and we will also check out the performance after running it through various prompts. Now if you look at this Gemma 3 quad this seems quite interesting. The Gemma 3 family consists of open source models designed to deliver high performance and be accessible to everyone and that is a goal here to bring it to consumer GPUs or even CPU. The new QAT versions of these models are optimized for int4 precision slashing the memory needed to run them as shown in various benchmarks shared by Google. This enables their use on consumer GPUs, laptops and even some of the edge and mobile devices without loss in quality or if there is any loss it's very very negligible as per various gpu uh, benchmarks shared by google now if you look at this diagram and then this table this compares the size and hardware requirements for various gemma 3 models in both bf16 which is high precision and int4 that is a quantized format with QAT and N4, models become much smaller and can run on widely available consumer hardware. The largest model, Gemma 3 27 billion, becomes usable on desktop GPUs, while smaller variants can run on laptops and even mobile devices, making it really powerful AI for and more accessible for everyone. And that is why it is gaining a lot of traction. So in this video, what I'm going to do I'm going to run one of the model in Olama, this new QAT, and then we will put a graphical user interface on top of it, and then we will see how this performs. If you don't know what Olama is, it is one of the easiest tools to run large language models locally, either on CPU or on GPU. In order to download it and install, just click on this download button, grab this command, which is a simple Linux command if you are using Windows then just grab this exe and same goes for the Mac and then run it and next next next. So let's first install Olama and then we will grab this model and the system which I am going to use for this video is sponsored by our good friends at Mast Compute. If you are looking to rent a GPU or VM or CPU on very affordable prices you can find the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. This is my Ubuntu system and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. So I'm just going to install the Olama first. I'm downloading it. This should not take too long. And there you go. Our Olama is installed. You can check the version too. So but it is showing that it couldn't uh, connect to Olama instance because it is not running. So for that, let's quickly run it. And this is for Linux. For Windows, you don't have to do this. So all I'm doing, I'm just starting the Olama service on local system. 
and you can see that now our olama is running and there is no model as of yet so let's go to olama's website and grab our jama 3 model so if you just type jama 3 at the top there is our jama 3 and then from here you can grab a lot of versions of this model if you click on this drop down and view all you will see there are lot of it available for example there you go so this is the one which they have just released there's a 12 billion instruction tune quantization version and then if you just scroll down there is also this one which is uh, in q8 but this is not the quad one this is the one 27 billion one now if you have cpu for cpu just grab any quad so for example if i just go here do uh, Control F and this is my quad. So you see this is a 12 billion one, this is a 1 billion one. This is this just needs one GP. So if you have CPU, just run this one. Uh, and if you have GPU, just go with this. So for example, if I click on this one, it is going to take 18 GP in this quantization four of this quad. You can uh, select more, like you can go with Q8 or whatever you like. Anyway, for the purpose of this, I'm just going to grab this command from here. I'll just go here and then paste. It is going to download and then run the model locally. So while it downloads, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation task automation and world simulation and the model is now downloaded and running i'll just uh, minimize this window in terminal i'm just going to open another window and i'm just going to create a gui on top of it and by the way if you want to see how much vram it is consuming you can see at the moment this one is just con consuming close to 18 gig of vram okay and this is in real time let's create an open web ui just as a graphical user interface on top of it so that we could play with the model and now i'm going to install this open web ui with all the prerequisites okay so open web ui is now running let me open it in the browser at, in my local host let's click on get started let me just put in my information and then just click on let's go and there you go so it automatically detects your olama if it is installed and you can see that jama 3 27 billion in quad is now available let's try it out okay so the first step i'm just going to ask it few of the reasoning some of the logical that sort of questions here i'm just painting it a um, hypothetical scenario that you are the matchmaker for end time singles a dating agency exclusively for survivors of quirky fictional apocalypses like the rubber duck uprising or the great pudding flood compose a standout bio for your most eligible clients highlighting their unique survival skills and odd hobbies so what we are going to see here if model understands the question if it is uh, able to write a coherent prose instead of hallucinations or just making mistakes but you can already see that it has adopted the role immediately and you can't really tell the difference between a full precision model or this qat model so see this is the profile of first one that this is the age and look at the humorous structure adjusted for temporal distortion officially 33 to task this is the location with springfield so it's also going into the mystical land then this apocalypse survived about me let's be honest most people panicked i however had been obsessed with vintage ham radio since i was a child so uh, everyone else was wrestling with rock poster i was talking to the static how good is that so real good stuff and these are the survival skills polka tolerance and they're looking for someone who appreciates a good vintage find isn't afraid of a little static cling how good is that and then this is the uh, call for action and then there is also some it is talking about photo that bond is smiling slightly rumpled amazing stuff 
Let's check out if it understands the history. So I am asking it to provide me a brief summary of main events of World War II. So it has got the dates right. And then it is describing what was the conflict about. And then the rise of aggression. And if you know your history, you know that it is doing wonderfully well. Great stuff. Very, very concise, very condensed. There you go. And significant impact model is very very high quality and by the way as i shown you here you can run it on uh, various you know devices but also i'm doing it in olama you can do it in mlx or lm studio and there are various other ways of running it too okay and now let's try out few more and now let me do a hard one so for this one i'm asking it to create me a roster where we have two concurrent functions every Saturday night. Function one is at French Embassy. Function two is at Indian Cultural Association. And then these are the chefs with a specific skill set. But there are some constraints that some are available in uh, on some Saturdays. Some are not available. Some really don't get along. Some can speak languages. And given all these constraints, I'm asking the model to create me a roster for next quarter. So let's see. Let's wait for it. And there you go. So it has built the roster after understanding all the constraints. And the, it is for next 12 Saturdays. There you go. And it has also taken some notes. Very nice. And then it is a revised roster. So it has just self-reflected on that one. This is great. Really, really good stuff. And it has understood that the barista schedule is not affected by these constraints. Yes. Backup waiter flexibility. Okay, let's try the multilinguality. The original Gemma 3 was really sublime. So I'm just translating. I love you in various languages. Brazilian looks, uh, Portuguese looks good. Czech looks good. Arabic, yep. Hindi, Swahili, Chinese. All of them are spot on. Okay, even the ancient runes it has tried. It's a good attempt. Urdu is good. And random language is Kailik. It looks good to me. Very nice. Amazing stuff. And this is uh, very subjective because it's uh, it's conceptual language, so which is really good. And then it is talking about some gendered languages. This is a good one. I don't think so. Even the original model, you know, gave me this point. So this is really good. Okay, let's ask it a math question. So this is from the mathematical physics that a particle moves along a straight line with acceleration of this. If its initial velocity is this and this initial position is this, find its position and velocity after three seconds. Wow. It has already given a very correct answer. Velocity and position both spot on. And now let's see if it can do mathematical analysis. Very quick in math, by the way. There you go. Yeah. Going in the right direction, explaining the issue, and then going about very dense mathematical concepts. Yep, that's correct. This is even approximation is quite good. Okay, next up, I'm asking it to optimize this SQL query, which is quite big. I'm not even giving it any schema information and yet I am hoping that it would it would be able to give me some low hanging from uh, fruit from this query. There you go. It has identified all the issues very well just from the syntax of the query. And then it is talking about this redundant group by multiple joins and coalescing the query. And this is a revised query where it is printing, which already looks uh, spot on, quite optimized. There you go. So it has done the predicates quite well. And all the changes are what I was expecting. And even it is talking about all the indexes. And then additional consideration, table stat, execution plan, materialized views, okay. And these are the general suggestions. Okay, let's see if it can translate this C code snippet into Ruby. 
should be easy for the model look we can already tell that having this qat version of this gemma 3 really really is shining and all of these benchmarks also tell the story as you can see from this benchmark so very happy about it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thank you for watching